let's talk about it at Stratford a little. I'm, I'm interested in the fact that you are theater co-founder and a champion of new Canadian writing, Canadian writing, indigenous work, then became literary manager for a Shakespeare festival. Yeah. Uh, how did that happen? Well, at that time, Hirsch and Gascon were not getting along. And I was friends with Gascon and Hirsch to the extent that anybody can ever be friends of a director, <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> and they're always looking out for the next job, right? And uh, so I was, I think I was mainly hired to try and create a little bit in the way of, uh, of uh, peace, you know, up in the uh, upper echelon. And Gascon was running Stratford at the time? Or Gascon? They, they were co-directors, you oh. see. Now there's a recipe for problems, you know. It's like right. having two wives, like that. And a very uh, Hungarian Jewish Canadian and a very uh, French Canadian France uh, yeah, Canadian. Yeah. And uh, John had been uh, had talked um, to, into doing a, a, a some kind of a musical based on Satyricon. Uh, and uh, so he asked me, can you write the script, or will you write the script for it? And great, but it's a full-time thing. I mean, you're asking me now, and uh, you want to start rehearsing a, a full musical in four months, and I haven't even looked at a well, uh, you know, I have to tell them, guarantee that they, you know, okay. So I, uh, I got five different translations. And he's, I said, is it funny? It's a riot. I read all five of them, and I didn't laugh once. There were no jokes in it. It was anti-Semitic, for starters. <laughs> I said, did you, did you ever read this thing? No. So whose idea was it to, to do Satyricon anyway? Oh, they wanted to, uh, to do it because, uh, the, you know, a uh, funny thing happened on the way to the forum. It had been, had been a big success in Toronto, a big success in New York. And they wanted something like that for a musical, you see, in Stratford. The board at Stratford wanted it? The board okayed it. Right. And the idea, John Hirsch does, funny thing happened the way in, uh, on the forum in Toronto, it's a big success, so John Hirsch will do Satyricon right. in Stratford and it'll be a big success. I mean, we're coming to the scandal part of the story. You that's know, that's I have been part. working my ass off, you know, I, I said, I'm going to go to Barbados and write the script there and write the songs there. And Stanley, it was in charge of music at that time at the festival. He's going to write the music, and he's going to come down. I didn't know it, but this guy is so musical that I have to get him a, a, a soundproof room because the sound of the waves are out of tune. <laughs> he can't possibly work there. <laughs> anyway, I got him a, a room. No noise. Anyway, I read the thing and read the thing, and I, I said, all, all I can do is write something sort of based on Satyricon, but about Stratford. And I wrote about scandals in Stratford. Political scandals? All kinds sexual of Sexual scandals? Sexual. Business scandals? You name it. They were all in there, in Roman togas and whatnot. Roman togas or less than Roman togas? <laughs> anyway, it, it sold out for the whole month, you know. But, oh boy, they had the, uh, the board talk to me about this, what we had done, and how awful it was, and so on. And the board's objections was to its uh, sexuality, or its scandal, or its everything, fleshability, or everything. They just didn't think it was Stratfordonium. 
well, what's her name? The one, who's that lady that who's, who got Guthrie to come here from Maver Moore's uh, mother? Dora Maver Moore? Yeah, she came out of the show and she said to me, Tom, you've done a terrible thing here. I said, what do you mean? This is not Stratford. This is nothing but entertainment. I said, what's Shakespeare, Dora? Different. Off she goes. I think, uh oh, oh, I'm going to have trouble. <laughs> so this is Dora Maver Moore of the New Play Society. This mm -hmm. is Canadian <laughs> theatrical genealogy that's gold, gold, yeah. gold. Yeah. She looks at your show and goes, this is nothing but entertainment. Wow. So, and everybody liked it. Uh, Jean Fike in Stratford, who is a, a taxi driver, she saw it three times. She liked it so much. She said to me, if you will buy the wool, I will knit a fisherman's sweater for you and one for your little boy. <laughs> and she did. So they liked the topicality or the scandal or the sex or the songs? Or Everything. <laughs> Everything they liked. Yeah, they used to go out. Anyway, and then this show you see, that we did in New York just used all the songs that... Uh, the lyrics that I had written that Stanley put to me.